This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of multiple shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to Zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's me. <laughs> I, I got a rainbow I, doobie. <laughs> oh my! Taste the fucking rainbow, right? Anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday once again, and we have finally released the inmates out of captivity. Yes, you heard me. This is either the chance to be excited or run for your lives, because, as I said before, we let them out of their cells. We've released the locks off their self-hugging straitjackets, and, yeah, shit's about wait, to Wait, wait, who, who, gave, who, gave, who got the keys? Who, who, who took the keys? <laughs> who else? Who else got them keys? <laughs> <laughs> you did this ah well you know I am an agent of chaos after all but we are on the verge of rebellion ladies and gentlemen yes you heard me right next week is rebellion as for tonight's main event though kind of kind of have to spice things up a little bit before we get to the big kahuna of next all week all I'm going to say is help I'm stepping into the twilight zone <laughs> and I love it do, 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 do. You can stay in there, though. It's all right. <laughs> and not we what have, I was getting at, but I'll work with it. We have the triple threat of hard-hitting sirens, such as the underdog from the underground, Kimberly Smith, the dragon maiden of Dojima, Rena Kodoya, and the big and bad Mama T out there. Yeah, you heard me correct. That is what we will look what the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> English is hard, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I hit that cigarette a little too hard. Ooh. <laughs> Careful how you hit that cigarette. Those cigarettes are. Totally I know hard. it hit me like right there, right where I live, man. <laughs> but we are we will be expecting that triple threat tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as our big main event. But of course, that will not just be all, my good my good sirs and ladies and theys and thems. We are also expecting a hell of a lot more action. We will be expecting tonight to see Foxy Beth Ann against Samantha Foxy. And just, oh boy. Man, she, I know she just started out. And from what I heard, she's been, she's been struggling. I'm going to be personally putting that out there. But hey. I mean, you, you've seen what our sirens are capable of. They are going to make her get a run for her money um, in this case. If she wants to survive, she has got to put it out there. And yes, yes, I this has been dubbed the unofficial f match of the foxes, if you so to speak. So, you know, <laughs> first versus last, am I right? Anyway, we'll be seeing Leah Duffield against the Kamikaze Chiyoko. And... We also have an in-ring debut of Amanda Fawn taking on Kasumi Hayata. Now, let me, let me, let me retract a little bit. Leah Duffield against Chiyoko. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was about, I, I just came back from gig, I, I just got some food over here. I just pulled some out of my bag. And uh, share disease. Say what? Share? You know, bring food and not share. Rude. I got some. I got some food over here. <gasps> Kasumi. Uh oh. See, she demands it. Share the food. You don't bring food out. and You don't share. I I I, 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 I it's it, 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 here, here. Back on the table. Back on the table. Don't don't hurt me. Oh, what your fucking food he eats it off the table. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> cool. I usually keep. I usually keep like. Who's down here? Hold on. Let me see if it's still here. Uh, Unless, you know, Johnny made off with it. Oh, no. Anyway. God damn it, Johnny. Either way. I'm going to hope and pray for at least Leah. I, I literally went I literally went uh, grocery shopping yesterday and bought a whole 
bunch of food to fill the freezer up. <laughs> Hell so yeah, funny. dude. That's how it be. Usually you can't trust me at the grocery store or else it's just half of it's booze and the other half is snacks and then the other half is probably boozy snacks. But in any case, but as you heard me, we will be seeing the in-ring debut of Amanda Fawn taking on Kasumi Hayata. Now, if I recall correctly, Amanda Fawn is the 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 little herald of death the one that's been kind of following around lady death from the past couple of weeks am i correct yeah that is correct she has been following lady death around accompanying her to the ring and kind of, kind of like in a like in a, and like an unofficial manager so to speak but the, but then kind of taking on someone who's been around this business for as long as kasumi has i'm I'm going to stay optimistic, okay? Because the most unexpected things happen from the unexpected. Yes, I know how I said it. it e expect it the unexpected. <laughs> expect the unexpected. Expected exactly. Folks. Let's just go with that. Um, I'm not going to make any predictions, but I am excited to see this debut. I've been waiting for Amanda to get into the ring and actually... How do I put this? <laughs> Actually, get into the thick of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, to be fair, I mean it, it can't be honestly that bad if she's uh, under the herald of a uh, of this of some sort of love, love, lady death and everything. Of course, she's not gonna just like throw her to the wolves or. But then again, <laughs> it, it is Kasumi Hayata we're talking about. Uh, give me just a moment. I gotta reach into my bag for some drinks. I, I'm i trying not to put X doubt right now because at the same time, I've seen the kind of training regiment she put under Nataz Grimoire in. <laughs> it is not the nicest of training regiments. No one is not, I bet. Yeah, but anyway, anyway. We shall go down the list. All right, let's do predictions because we got 20 minutes to kill. All right. Well, actually, no. Scratch that. Oh, my goodness. I It's been a good minute, but let's kind of go down the list beforehand. Some little pre-code, pre-code, yeah, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Prerequisites. Yes, let's go with that. But, all right, ladies and gentlemen, for those that are still coming in who are not familiar for the asylum, we will go ahead and let you know about Bringing everybody that you know, everybody wanted to get to know, because what better way of getting to know somebody than bringing them here to the asylum on the verge of rebellion, my good dudes, lads, ladies, and days. Of course, we are on the precipice of something grand. We are on the verge of... Might as well be on the verge of chaos itself. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I had to find my Mountain Dews. Like, my goodness. Oh, they were gross. buried Let's in there. Get it out of here. No. What? The Dr. Pepper only table, okay? Hey, Let's I have a Dr. Pepper. I have Dr. Peppers in here, too. Don't worry. Oh, okay, okay. As long as you share, as long as you share. But uh, Of course. Of course. He did it. <laughs> Lily, he did it. He did I'm it, dead. Lily. I'm dead. Oh, okay, cool. Then I guess I'm carrying the show, then. <laughs> no, no, you're not carrying the show. I'm not actually dead. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is nasty. Anyway. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying not to fall asleep here. It's just anyway. Like, uh, Anyway, how are you going to be falling asleep when we're going to watch the ladies beat the shit out of each other? Uh, that's what I'm broken. waiting for. How can you, sir? I will be here and I will grab you and I will shake you. Will no, you no, 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 no. It, it's not that. Uh-huh. It's just, I had to... I, mean, put, I was trying, I, I had to cancel my class and then I got on the plane and then I came over here, okay? DJ, 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 my dude. Look at me. Look in my eyes. Do these look like the eyes of somebody who gives a fuck? No! <laughs> what we care about is asylum right now! So please! please alright, alright, yeah, 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 let's, yeah, let's, let's get these. Don't look into our eyes, that's how hellish contracts are made. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> folks, I'm as already you know. see, if you want to bring people in that you know, you want to get to know, what better way of getting to know somebody than bringing them here to the asylum? But if you want to teleport people, please do so behind the barricades. It is there for a reason. I swear, I cannot reiterate this enough times to where we've seen fans, random bystanders be used as weapons, targets, 
poor, poor uh, misfortunate souls who lost oh. their lives because they thought like, oh, hey, I wonder what this does, and hops over and be used as a tool of destruction for the yeah, pirates. Yes, yes, please don't <laughs> come over the barricade. We do not want you to get hurt if you are a fan. Stay behind the barricade. Exactly. Hi, hi there. And that too, that, yeah, exactly. And you know, you're also signing off saying that okay, I'm liable to you know be midnight snack to Koi, you know, because she she does eat people. That's no joke. <laughs> You'd see her go against with a fucking femur. Jesus Christ! But anyway, do I need to pull the insurance forms out? Nope. Nope. Because even Mister Knight is not going to deal with any liability issues. No. No, nothing of the sort, no lawsuits of that sort, believe me, I've seen him toss a chunk of those files right into the, straight into the fires oh, of the right? fireplace, so. Oh, oh thank boy. goodness. Sophie. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I saw nothing, all he was doing was just tossing in Kindlewood, that's it. Yeah, that's what it was. Well, <laughs> Kindlewood. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Koi in that is... Avoid your insurance if you end up having I didn't say it. So, I'm good. Yeah. I'm a good noodle. In I'm, not, case, I'm not in that one. In either case, folks, please remove any heavily scripted HUDs and unused items that are, but which not excludes any pixel peckers, tummy talkers, booby bouncers, or butt shakers. Completely unnecessary. We don't need to see how great the physics are. We don't need to know how far along you are. We don't even need to know that you have it or it's sticking out or in. We really know you can rock out with your weenie out after the show, as we will be having our after party at Abstract later on after the show. So just keep in mind about that. But anything else, no. And <laughs> remember, as lag friendly as possible. Yeah. And remember, what happens at Abstract stays at Abstract, but uh, sometimes it may just end up on the Titan Tron over there. So. Just that recording. or on YouTube or on somebody's phone or in this any case, you know, just a random GIF in Ugh. any case. <laughs> but also please <laughs> refrain from being on mic. That right is reserved for myself, TJ, any other staff member here at WPW Asylum. Please, the love of God. Okay. Got that bullshit out of the way. Anyway, so for match one, we'd be having... The Battle of the Foxes, we will be having Samantha Foxy taking on Foxy Beth Ann. Yes. That's. <laughs> call it fate, I it. suppose. <laughs> I, I call, you call it fate, I call it, um. One hell of a fight! Hell yeah, sir. I hear that. So we have the up and comer, um. Up and cover Foxy Beth Ann, who's going to be taking on one of our more seasoned sirens, the Dark Siren herself, mind you, Samantha Foxy. Now, who do you think will be taking home the win tonight? I think the shirt I'm wearing speaks for itself on that one. <laughs> I can't see the shirt because your arms are in the way, Goofy. Uh, oh, Samantha okay. Foxy. Oh, okay. The Dark Siren herself. That, hmm. that's, that's all. <laughs> I. I have I hold a little optimism for Foxy and I'm talking about Foxy Beth Ann. I like the up and comers because you know they bring a they bring a sense of the unexpected and unpredictability into the ring and to me this would be the first time seeing her in the ring so I, I'm a little open minded to it but I've heard good things. I've heard great things. I, I, I have to agree with you. She does bring some good things to the ring. I've seen it. Um, so if she wins, you know what? Hey Good honor. She's bringing something to the fight. <laughs> Good that, honor. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what they she's do it for. Bring it, she's bring, more power to her. She's bringing something. In, she will have shown to bring something in that we probably haven't seen yet. Can I call this an unofficial, unofficial bragging right? Who gets to carry that foxy name? But either it's, case, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. All right, so the next match, match two, we will be having the Kamikaze Chiyoko, one half of the WPWF Tag Team Champions, mind you, Chiyoko. <laughs> Need I say more? Against the doll herself, Leah Duffield. Now, we've been... 
from the most part, excuse me, from the most part, we've been seeing kind of like risen tensions between the two, between Hisatsu and the Riot Dolls, you know. They've kind of attacked each other in the recent weeks or more along bringing, um, I believe it was last week when uh, Dahlia was actually facing Katie Carter and all of a sudden, ah, here comes Hisatsu in their, you know, most spoopy, their most spooby sense, you know, and just live, literally beat the living soul out of both Leah and Katie and Dahlia took the smart sense, mind you, smart sense to be like, nope, I don't get paid for this. I don't do our numbers. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just why, like, why come in and attack those two? What, what? Did, I'm just wondering to myself, what did they oh, have to do with it? Let me explain why. Let me let me delve into the the dark history, the blood stained history books of Hisatsu itself, because they can. No, no, I mean, <laughs> so it was Katie motherfucking can. Carter, and I mean, okay, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. They were making their presence known. Yeah, and then. Katie and Leah came out of nowhere. They sneak t- sneak attack Re and Chioko, all rude like. Okay, and then they leave. So they were just getting their somewhat comeuppance. All right. Okay, this is just a little bit of karmic karmic intervention here. All right, hear me out. But you know, when it goes kind of back and forth in this back and forth thing with Hisatsu, it just it just keeps going and going and going until something. Besides the final result of it. Oh, uh, that that's fair. That that explains all of that. I, I get exactly. it. Exactly. See? See, now you get it. You get it. Although to me I would have to go with I I'm, I'm kinda torn because you know, us Texas women gotta stick together, but then there's Chioko who's like very, very angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, a little I, here. <laughs> I'm with you on this one, and I'm not a Texas boy, but I like I'm a Florida boy, but still. I'm, oh, that explains a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I don't like this state, but you know what? <laughs> I'm just like I, I know Chioko's angry all the time, but Lee is one tough woman, so she could stand. She could stand up to Chioko, no doubt. I'm okay. All right, I will take the word for it, my dude, and, you know, we'll see how it be. Yeah, we will. We'll have to see on that one. <sighs> yeah, let's move along here to match three of the night. Uh, let's see here. The debut of Amanda Fawn, the Herald of Death, versus Ooh. Kasumi Hayata. Okay, see... Now I've I've known Kasumi for a good minute. I've I've seen what she's been capable of. I know she's kind of come back after a good minute and everything, but she has not shown any in-ring rust, mind you. But to go against someone who is marked the herald of death, okay, that to me is be like, okay, this is gonna be a little sus kind of thing. I agree. So, and, in, in itself, it kind of leaves us some predictability. It's like, will we able to, will Kasumi be able to? I mean, just looking at the stats alone, and I'm not really one to use kind of like the physics in this against one another because, come on, let's be honest here. There's, there's been times where those who don't look like they can overpower the other one actually take the unexpected win. Oh, you yes. Know? But in, in a sense, we only have known Amanda Fawn on her outside ring presence. She she's been that the the little helper of LD, the 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 herald, as again per se, as she's been kind of like that unknown wild card factor. So it just kind of brings you to mind, like what is she going to bring to the to the ring, kind of thing. Uh, uh, being yeah. under being under Lady Death and being her herald, being her little helper. I think she's going to bring a lot to this ring, and I could see her winning her debut. I'm not uh, sure. Maybe. Could. I could Maybe. see her overpowering Kasumi Hayata and just straight up winning. Okay. 
I, again, I am all one for the rookie, so I'm going to put it in my head towards Amanda. Nothing against Kasumi, mind you. I'm all for Kasumi, but in this case, it's the wild cards that always draw me in, okay? <laughs> it, it's that X Factor. It's, it's that dark horse kind of mentality there. You, yeah. you got to think, if you don't know somebody, you're not going to underestimate them. And then, of course, we have your main event. Uh... The Dragon Maiden of Do Dojima, Rena Kadoya versus the heart, the underdog from the underground, Kimberly Smith versus Big and Bad Mama T. Whew, what a doozy. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I don't know who wins this one. Honestly, okay. We have someone who grew up on the hardcore sense, the, the strict honor code, the the bad bitch vibes of the Yakuza itself. We got Rena over here. Alright? Alright? Yep. And then and then we got someone as hardened as like Mama T from like the backwoods bayous where she ain't taking shit from nobody. Mind you, they call her mama for a reason, I hear yep. that. Mama <laughs> said knock you out. <laughs> Sorry, my, my Texan almost came out on me, Jesus. <laughs> Let it out. Let it I, out. I swear, I think this is a southern thing or something. Yeah. But as, and then and then we got someone as, as more kind of seasoned, like Kimberly here. Yeah, so, also from the London Underground, and that's hard as, that's hard as fuck. Yeah, I mean, you got the scrappy underdog, you know, the one you never want to underestimate because she brings that to the table kind of thing, so... Yep. Who knows? So, the Yakuza versus the London Underground versus uh, the Bayou here. Uh, um, okay, so um, I'm just going to put that out there. I'm going to go with Mama Tia. So other women stuck together, okay? All right? It's one thing with I, I, the ladies, but it's another thing with me and Mama, so. You know what? I'm right there with you. I got to go with Mama T. Oh, shit. Two first. All right. All right. But hey, yeah. you know, this can be anybody's game when it comes to triple threats, you know. I've oh, seen yeah. these happen before, you know, where you either, like, it's a free-for-all kind of thing, or there's a common goal for another, or just what have you, betrayals, backstabbing, you name it! You name it, and it has happened, my dude. So it oh, is I, anyone's game tonight. So <laughs> I'm oh, excited. I know. I, I'm. <sighs> I'm down now. Don't make me throw my tea at you. If I can find it somewhere. Uh, please don't throw the tea at me. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't want to waste some good. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's good not. Tequila, man. Let, I let's waste not it. waste some good southern sweet tea, okay? Exactly. See, you get it. What? I I didn't have it. What? I will throw my son's sweet tea at you. <laughs> Shut up. So if he if he keeps making weird noises, you have permission to throw tea at him. Oh, okay, cool. I thought I was getting yelled at. Thank you. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> I heard nothing. Oh God, uh, Lily, hi. <laughs> and of course, we're joined here by the lovely Nicole Bergier. Hell yeah. Badass rapper I've ever seen in my life. Why are you... That is tea, madam. It is so tea. It just happens to be peach southern tweet. Tweet. Tea. Tweet. <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> we got two minutes. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, time to... This doobie's out. I don't know you. You don't need to judge me. I don't need your judgingness all over my tea. I'm not judging. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, Sophie. that's somebody else. I didn't do it, I swear he was bullying me! With the slurring of your words there, are you sure that's tea? It is, it is tea, Mr. Knight, I promise. <laughs> <sighs> swear to you realsies, I cross my heart and hope somebody else dies, but swear to you realsies. <laughs> Alright, we got, we got less than a minute here. <sighs> Good. So sit back, relax, bust out the snacks, and let's get this going. Let's get this going. Ladies and but gentlemen, welcome to the asylum. Yes, where, you know, actually, that was a trick question, and we never usually lock our inmates anyway, so. <laughs> They're free-range crazy. <laughs> 
I like free range crazies. You like free range crazies? That explains a lot. I am free range crazy. Oh, okay, cool. And I have a free range taser. So, <laughs> game is out. He keeps hitting on me. Probably. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. Hmm.